The first thing I want to do is to introduce the two goods model of microeconomics. So let's begin with the two goods model by discussing the two goods. By lack of imagination, we will simply call these goods good one and good two, but they can be any two goods such as milk and cookies. There is no time in this model, so simply imagine that everything happens at a single point in time. What is happening now is that we have one single individual and this individual needs to decide on how much of good one and good two she will consume. By consume we really mean acquire or purchase. Just imagine our individual facing a large quantity of milk and cookies and she needs to decide on how many cookies and how much milk to buy. We will denote the consumption of good 1 by x1 and the consumption of good 2 by x2. For example, if she decides to consume 6 cookies and 2 liters of milk, then x1 is equal to 6 and x2 is equal to 2, where it is now understood that x2 is measured in liters. In most cases, we will assume that goods are infinitely divisible. That means that the consumer can buy any non-negative quantity of each good, such as 2.561 cookies. This is merely an assumption of convenience, and it will allow us to draw graphs that are smooth. Also, consumption of each good can never be negative. Let's continue our description of the two goods model by introducing prices and income. The price of good one is denoted by P1, and in most cases we will assume that price is strictly positive. We will in a few examples talk about the case when a price is zero or negative, but with exception to these few examples, prices will be strictly positive. Similarly, the price of good two is denoted by P2. In the two goods model, prices are assumed to be fixed. So we need to elaborate a little bit on this point. By fixed in this case, we mean that they are determined outside the control of the consumer. We do not mean that they are forever fixed and can never change. For example, prices will not change if the consumer buys a large quantity of one good and she cannot beat down the price by haggling. The consumer has a fixed income denoted by M which is also assumed to be strictly positive. By income here, we mean the amount of money available to her at this particular point in time when she is to decide on how much to consume of the two goods. So this is the situation facing the consumer. With a given amount of money M facing prices P1 and P2, she needs to decide on X1 and X2, the quantity that she will consume of good 1 and good 2. This setup is the fundamental model of microeconomics. Let's illustrate the choice made by the consumer graphically. We use the x-axis for the amount purchased of good one, that is, we denote that by x1, and we use the y-axis for the amount purchased of good two, which we denote by x2. Let's say that she buys 15 units of good one, x1 is equal to 15, and she buys 12 units of good two, so x2 is equal to 12. We can then illustrate her consumption bundle by this point here in the Cartesian coordinate system. So this point, x1 is equal to 15, we go down to the x1 axis, and x2 is equal to 12 if we go to the y-axis. This will be the general idea that we use. An arbitrary bundle of good one and good two will be illustrated with the point in this diagram. We can see, for example, that if we start from a particular point in the diagram and move to the right, then that means that her consumption of good one is increased while her consumption of good two remains the same. Similarly, if we move upwards, then her consumption of good two has been increased while her consumption of good one remains the same. 
because of the assumption of infinite divisibility, any point in this Cartesian coordinate system is allowed. Here is a summary of what we just did. We have a Cartesian coordinate system focusing on the first quadrant since we do not consume negative quantities. A consumption bundle is then simply a point in this Cartesian coordinate system. If we go straight down from the point to the x-axis, we can see how much of good one is consumed. This amount is denoted by x1. If we go straight to the left from our consumption bundles, then we get the consumption of good 2, x2.